Former Alaska Republican Senator Ted Stevens has reportedly been killed in a plane crash. According to CNN, Stevens was on board a small private plane when it went down in a rugged area near Dillingham, Alaska on the evening of August 9, 2010. On the afternoon of August 10, CNN cited a source familiar with ongoing rescue efforts as saying that Stevens had perished in the crash. A spokesperson for the Alaska Air National Guard told CNN that rescue crews were attempting to get at least three injured people away away from the scene, adding that there may be more survivors. The identities of the injured were not immediately available. ABC News quoted sources as saying there were a total of nine people on board the plane when it went down. Five died in the crash. Two others were said to be seriously injured. CNN cited the FAA as saying that two other people on the plane suffered minor injuries. A reporter for KTVA told CNN that those on board the plane were headed for a fishing trip. The NTSB is investigating the crash. CNN says former NASA Administrator and EADS North America CEO Sean O'Keefe was on board the plane. O'Keefe's fate was not immediately known, but Reuters later reported that both he and his son survived the plane crash. O'Keefe is a former Deputy Director of the Office of Management and Budget, serving in President George W. Bush's administration until 2001. He went on to head NASA until 2005 when he resigned. In 1978, Ted Stevens survived a plane crash that killed his wife, Anne. The Learjet went down at an Anchorage, Alaska airport. Four other people died. Stevens' family issued a statement on August 10, 2010, offering prayers for all those on board and their families and thanking rescue workers who are said to have struggled through rough terrain to reach the crash site. For more information on this topic, visit the link below.